So this is Soul and Cancer. We're going to take a look at some energy for you this upcoming week, starting October 5th, ending October 11th, 2020. The messages will be for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising signs as well. Cancer, a quick apology to you. I did mess up on the dates, on at least on the thumbnails, not the energy of the videos last week. I uh, wrote September, you know, I think it was September 28th, and then the ending date was October 1st, which didn't make sense at all. So um, this energy here will be the start of the 5th through uh, the 11th ending. Okay, so with that being said, Cancer, please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy this week's reading. Hey, Cancer. So we're going to look at some energy for you, uh, as I stated before, starting October 5th and ending October 11th, 2020. So, uh, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs, of course. Also, I'm um, using this week, Cancer, to... Uh, read your messages or deliver your messages. The Astro Scion deck. Uh, there are some cards here in reverse positions. There are only 12 of them. I only selected 12. And, um, you know, quite a few have shown up here for the uh, videos that I had recorded yesterday, and a few just showed up here uh, this morning. So let's see what's going on or what's coming up for us potentially, Cancer, um, next week. And we are going to start off our shadow energy with that of the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this, and you know, let me just explain quickly why I like to use different decks because uh, artists, different artists usually come up with their own scheme of things and they don't really, you know, sort of tend to stick to the traditional way of, um, you know, the Rider weight tarot, but they come up with their own energies. Four of Pentacles here. I don't see this as a card, as I've often read before, but other decks is withholding information or withholding love and affection, I should say, um, from someone or someone is doing that energy to you. But you have a man who's clearly here. Now, his you know eyes are sort of like faded out, but he's got a big smile on his face and he's pointing. So that could mean that there's some money coming your way. As I'm reading it, Cancer, someone someone giving you money or there's some sort of unexpected money coming your way. This could be in the form of a pay raise. This could be someone uh, helping you out with finances or a financial loan through your um, you know, creditors or for you know from family members or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that I'm, you know, this time I'm gonna read this energy where, you know, the four of pentacles can still mean that somebody gets a small pay raise or a bonus. Uh, it's still a card of generosity and stunt. I still talk about someone can get a job. Okay. Somebody is about to get a boost in income. So I'm reading this as very positive this time around. And the four of pentacles is, um, you know, part of the energy of the earth. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Yeah, so he's pointing, he's smiling. So it's either that the finger pointing is, you know, referring to you, my cancer of viewers, that you're about to get some money in some fashion. So that could be what happens, you know. Like I said, this is just part of your shadow energy, and it may be uh, energy that plays out. So, but we're going to start out with the Queen of Swords is in the reverse. Oh, and the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. The Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Wait a minute. Yeah, these cards are, are correct because I know the Ace of Wands came through uh, in the upright position. We have the Ace of Wands. Uh, Emperor was in the reverse for um, another uh, video that I did. And Seven of Cups is here. And then our last card is the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay, so do not despair because of these uh, cards being in the reverse position. Now, I'm going to read this here. As the Queen and King, Cancer, as I always read, uh, when they show up in the uh, reverse, the swords, that we got a major decision, okay? We're undecided about making some sort of major move or making a major decision. This is an action card. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, okay? It's just that we have not yet 
acted upon or will, because I'm reading for the energies of next week, might be something that we need to make a decision about. And um, we just need more you know, information or we're trying to clear up some sort of uh, other confusions that might be centered around the situation. That Queen of Swords, when it's in the upright, is always about being determined because you use that sword to clear up the confusion, to clear up the uncertainties. Um, and now you're ready to strike. You're ready to take actions. You're ready to make uh, decisions and moves, right? When it's in the reverse, no, you're not. Okay, there is either that energy is about to come up for you and it could be a major decision that has yet to approach you and it's all part of this energy this upcoming week that may unfold. That might be part of it as well. Okay, so don't fear this card um, because it's in a reverse position. It just means that there is something and the queen and kings always are, um, for me at least in terms of how I read, something major that we have to take action against and move against. Uh, but we have yet to uh, either get the information or um, we're waiting for more information around surrounding it. Queen of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now, if you notice that the Knight of Cups, which is our own energies, is in the uh, reverse position. And this is about emotions. This is about relationships. So now take this. I always tell you guys, I always pay attention to the first two cards when they show up. And because it may be some energy indicative of how your week may turn out. But this is not something that's written in stone. But if this is crossing your card in the uh, reverse position, okay, so think in terms of a major decision you have to make is relationship related. Now, that could be romantic. It could be related to family, extended family. It could be friendships. These emotions here are reversed. So normally the Knight of Cups is usually the Knight in Shining Armor. And then when it's in the uh, upright position, they're supportive, they're loving, they're caring. This could represent an actual uh, new love coming into your life, a new friendship coming into your life. Or in general, just you know being happy and surrounded by the people um, that include your family members and those other extensions of relationships. Now, when it's in the reverse position, that's the total different opposite. So is there a decision that you need to make and it's based on a relationship or someone in your life? That could be. Now, does it mean cutting someone uh, out? No, it just means that there's action that you need to take against someone. Major action or decision that you need to take against someone who is in your life. Okay, that person has to be uh, a friend. That person has to be a family member, an extended family member, a romantic person partnership. Now, that major decision could be just something, you know, uh, simple in terms of, um, you know, there's some sort of discrepancy about you wanting to move or um, they wanting to move, but you're bumping heads. So I don't want to make you think that this is so difficult to understand when it comes to making major decisions and, and moves. It's definitely going to be involving uh, other people in your life. OK, but, it, you know, whatever that is or whatever it means for you, this is what's coming through. So this Knight of Cups represents you, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Then here we have the Ten of Cups that's in the reverse. Now, this is my wedding card. And this is, you know, the cups always represent family. So I feel that the, and it mirrors it mirrors the Queen of Swords. So there's something going on here that may be uh, related to specifically for some cancers. It's a family decision or an action against the family, some type of action or decision against the family or involving the family. Uh, so it could be a change of plans for others when it comes to marriage, uh, postponement of a, a wedding, change of a wedding plan or a rearrangement of some sort of wedding plans or some other group activity. So the emotions could be running high here in a not so good way. So, but be very, very careful um, that you're not feeding into the messages too much. It could be something involving uh, the children, you know, the children of cancer. And and to be honest with you, we don't have any ding cards, as I always call them. We don't have the three of swords. We don't have the tower. We don't have the nine of swords. So I wouldn't worry too much about these cards being in the reverse. 
oftentimes the reverse position actually is um, turns out to be better for some uh, people's energies. Seven of Wands, okay, so uh, Seven of Wands, I always tell you guys, I'm showing you what it looks like uh, in the upright, it is reversed, that this is the Stand Your Ground card. And you can see the Wands here where she's, you know, fending off the other Wands, the attackers. So this is Stand Your Position, do not fold, do not bend. Now, in the, in the case that is in the reverse position and because it mirrors the Queen, then you might succumb to some sort of decision. Um, and lose your ground or your footing. Okay, so that might be something where, you know, you lose your ground, you lose your footing, you stand or change your position on something and it's relative to your family, a relationship, or some other type of energy. Okay, this is what I would call slipping. You, you held on for as long as you could, but you slipped or you allowing your energies to slip. Seven of Wands represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, the next thing up is uh, more fire energy is the Ace of Wands. So this is actually a pretty good card. It's the start or initializing of something new, something you're passionate about. Could be a new hobby. Uh, this is also to Cancer relative to good news. Uh, and... Surprises pop possibly coming in. Now, it's underneath the Queen of Swords. So what do you think that combination may mean? Now, that could simply mean that you're undecided about starting a new hobby, something that you're about to or wanting to start, but you're not quite sure. You haven't gathered uh, the information, whether or not there's a conflict of interest with family members, romantic partners, you know, and so forth. Now, I'm reading these uh, by themselves. Maybe you're just undecided about something that you've been wanting to do, longing to do, but you don't know how to go about doing it or if it's something that you're um, not certain about. Remember the Queen's... Uh, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Knight of Swords, when it's in the reverse, is always that element of uncertainty or some sort of confusion or something that you need to gain clarity about. So this is still a card of passion. Um, news coming in, like I said before, and because it is the Ace of Wands, it could be coming in rather quickly for some of you. Uh, creative energy. So it could be expressing your artistic side, writing, singing, dancing, and so forth, acting. Now, what we want to do, uh, however, moving forward this upcoming week, because this is a major arcana, the card that follows the Ace of Wands, um, Cancer, that represents um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, is the Emperor. This is the Aries card, um, specifically, but it also... Uh, represents Leo and Sagittarius. So usually when the emperor is in a uh, reverse position in how I read, means that there is some situation that, you know, you're about to lose control or, or you don't have control over. Remember, I always say that, you know, this is more important for you not to be, uh, in, you know, uh, it's important for you to be in control of yourself and not uh, trying to control others and or situations. Somebody here is about to or feel like they're about to lose control or they don't have control over a situation. It's a relationship. And whatever relationship that is to you, again, it could be romantic. It could be platonic. It could be something going on with the family, extended family, friendships. Somebody feels that they're losing control over a, a relationship. Now, whether or not the energy of the Queen of Swords kicks in on this, that could be what happens, you know, because it's a major thing. What to do? What am I going to do about this, which could be simply a feeling? The feelings are coming through on these cups and they're turned over of losing control. So that riles up your emotions, right? What am I going to do about this situation that I feel that I'm losing control over? This also represents law and, um, you know, order, law and uh, well, authority. It's a card of authority. Not necessarily law and justice, but law and order. So it could just be court, 
and maybe some sort of court stuff going on for some Cancerians this upcoming week involving courts. All right, so but whatever it is, to make sure that you try your best to maintain always the control of your own energies and maintain order of your energies as opposed to trying to um, do that in others because then it's going to slip away, you know, or they slip away from you. So be very, very careful there. Seven of Cups here is the card that casts illusion. Here in this deck, the moon is there. Uh, so yeah, the moon, when it ever shows up in any card, I always talk about, um, in this case here, I'm going to just talk to you about, it, it, it does cast an illusion, <laughs> you know, so you have to treat people um, the way that they are and the way that they show or present themselves to you, Cancer, because, and situation as well, because you don't want to do it any other way because it always ends up with a disappointment. This is also a card of options. So making sure that you're picking and choosing if there are options that become available for you this upcoming week that you're doing. So um, that's going to be the, uh, the energy that best resonates for you overall. All right. So make sure that in dealing with situations and dealing with people in your life that you are treating them the way that they are presenting themselves to you and not the way that you want. And maybe this too could be part of the energy of losing control of a situation or something that you can't uh, or don't have control over. All right. So the last card is, uh, again, uh, in connection with the Queen of Swords, I'm undecided. This is a card of having to pick and choose now, whether or not it's uh, involving two people or two situations. It's just right now feels like it's mild anxiety and having to uh, make that choice, feeling like you're at a crossroad. Two of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For others, it could be just, you know, having to uh, take an alternative path in terms of traveling, you know, on your uh, normal way to work. And then, you know, something happens, they're doing construction uh, and so forth. Okay. And then we have a quarter moon here. So, yeah, undecided about something, losing control over a situation. Feel like you're losing control over a situation. And the cups that are turned over uh, give me that type of feel that it might be for some of you. Um, um, could be, you know, somewhat very emotional. I ain't going to tell no lie. But I feel it's, it's related to... A relationship of some sort. And then you losing your footing on it. Um, by the seven of wands in the reverse. Hmm. All right. So we'll see how um, the energy plays out for you. Anyway, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, uh, Cancer, I hope that you do. It safely. Stay strong. Stay positive. Please wear those masks. Wear those gloves. <laughs> Uh, again, I woke up this morning to only find out that the president and his wife and uh, Hope Hicks is um, tested uh, positive for the coronavirus. So uh, because they tested positive doesn't mean that I didn't believe that it wasn't real before. No, that's not what I'm saying here. The importance is that it's always been real. But people have, including the president or the, the White House in itself, has down playing it from the very beginning. And I just feel that it's just it's a tragedy. It's, it's a simple tragedy. I don't wish the coronavirus on anyone, not even the you know uh, president and his wife and family or whatnot. No one deserves to get this virus. It's something that I feel that it could have been under so much more control if the necessary or initial steps have taken place to prevent such a tragedy. Now they're talking about, um, you know, it's spiking again in, in several places. So it's serious. It really is serious. But if you are a uh, Cancerian, a resident of the United States, exercise your right to vote. This Nover uh, November 3rd election, I don't care. If you're, uh, you know, what party platform you belong to, just don't sit by and do nothing. And think it's that, you know, your vote and your voice isn't going to be counted or heard. Yes, it will be. And it's going to be crazy. It's really going to be crazy. I'm trying to see if whether or not 
Uh, I mean, I'm sitting up here now intuitively getting hits that this uh, the next debate may be canceled or re they can't really reschedule it because we're heading right into the uh, election. So it might be, and I'm just thinking the timing of the revelation <laughs> is all too utterly um, confusing for me or contrasting for me. But Cancer, I'm going to leave you with that little short PSA. Love and light to you all. Please enjoy your week ahead. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.